In this video, we're going to be looking at taxes in when a company takes a loss, what they can do for payback periods and how they can take the tax and they can then apply it um, forward or backward as a loss. So we're going to take a look at the Davis Company. The Davis Company in 2010 made $8 million in profit. Sorry, $8 million in profit. In 2011, they made $2 million in profit. And then in 2012, they took a loss of $6,900,000. So this was, their, this was their profit and loss statement for those three years. The question that we'd like to find out is, what could they do with this money uh, this loss in regards to taxes and can they get some of their money back well the federal law allows if you want to take a look at page 57 of your textbook the federal law and the taxing allows you to carry back your some of your tax loss over a number of years so what's going to happen in this particular case we are going to be able to apply this loss to this profit back here and regain some of our taxes so the question that we're asking is in 2012, can this loss be carried back? And the answer is yes. And if so, how much would we be paying in taxes Okay, in, in the year 2010? It's a very simple calculation. What we're going to do is we're going to take our $8 million profit. And now this is from 2010. And we're going to subtract the loss. So now this will give us, right here, will equal $1.1 million in taxable income. It's that simple. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our $1.1 million in taxable income. And if we go back to our charts for the federal taxes, we're going to see that this is at 34%. So what we're going to do is we are going to multiply that by 34 and we're going to pull up the calculator just to show you how this works. We're going to take 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so we have $1,100,000 times 0.34. And we are going to pay $374,000 in taxes. So what the company would then do is the company would then take this number and they would re or amend their taxes for 2010 showing the loss. And as it's carrying forward, and then they would re re get some money returned to them. Now, how much money would they get returned in theory? Well, we'll show you. So, if you took eight million times 0.34, and this is what they paid, so eight million. So, let me just bring this in. This eight million times 0.34 is equal to two million seven hundred twenty thousand dollars is what they paid so they will re they will get back and I'm just doing a quick subtraction from the federal government in taxes two million three hundred forty six thousand dollars as a refund now what will that money do well if they took a loss of that magnitude it will help them get themselves back on their feet in order to keep the business alive so this is how you solve the problem, and you will have a problem in your homework, I believe it's number 28, that looks similar to this. And this is the answer that we're looking for, one right here.